So many women have this gorgeous body type, and this is the pair. You can recognize it on celebrities such as Jennifer Lopez or even Rihanna, and a lot of my clients come to me and they ask me, Isabella, how do I properly dress this body shape? My hips are a lot wider than my shoulders. What exactly should I wear? And in today's video, I am back at it again, teaching you the best tops, bottoms, dresses, and skirts. So this being said, if you guys are interested in learning how to best dress this body type, make sure to keep on watching and most importantly, watch until the end. Hey guys, I'm Bella, and if you're new to my channel, I am a certified image consultant and fashion enthusiast. And welcome to Concept 3, where I help you transform your wardrobe, your image, and your lifestyle. In today's video, I will be giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to best dress a pair of body shape. In this video, you're really going to get a full comprehensive look on what type of styles are going to work best for you. Basically, you know you have this body shape if you have narrow shoulders, wider hips, a well-defined waist, and if you tend to carry a lot of your weight in your thigh, butt, and lower tummy area. So the main goal of dressing this body type is to add a little bit more of width and volume to the upper half of the body and of course we want to balance the silhouette in general. So so the general rule of thumb with finding tops for a pair body shape is to find something that is going to elongate your shoulders and that's going to add a little bit more volume on the upper half. So having this body shape, some of your best options for tops are going to be wide necklines, off the shoulder necklines and embellish tops because this is basically going to elongate your shoulders and it's going to add a little bit more volume to the upper half of your body. Now some don'ts, you want to avoid extra narrow necklines and halter tops because basically this is going to shrink your shoulder area and then therefore it's going to make your bottom half look a little bit wider and if that's a look you don't want to go for then these type of necklines aren't going to be your best match. When choosing a sleeve for short sleeve tops, you want to go ahead and avoid the unstructured sleeve, something that's very tight fitting, and instead your better option will be a structured sleeve, such as a puffy sleeve top, because this is basically going to give you more volume around the shoulder area, and it's going to balance out beautifully with your gorgeous, curvy hips. Now for long sleeve tops, the opposite is true. You want to avoid structured sleeves and instead go for a fitted or tapered sleeve because basically if you have a sleeve that has more volume at the bottom half it's going to make your hips look a little bit wider and it's just going to add more unnecessary volume. This being said some of my top picks for tops are going to be a ruffle top a wrap top and a top with horizontal stripes and all of these are really great options for pairs because they are going to elongate your shoulder and your neckline and it's going to balance out beautifully with your hips and it's going to also create a smaller and more well-defined waist so if you're looking for tops these are some great styles that you should definitely try moving on to bottoms there are so many different bottoms you guys have the options of wearing whether we're talking about jeans pants shorts and skirts but a general rule you kind of want to keep in mind is that you want to wear something that is going to, of course, show off those beautiful curves, but something that is not going to exaggerate them and just call all the attention to the bottom half of your body. So let's go see some great styles for jeans, pants, shorts, and skirts. So starting with jeans, one of the styles that isn't going to be your best fit is going to be the ultra skinny because basically being so tapered around the ankle, it's just going to create a lot of volume around the hips and it's going to make your hips look less wider than they are. So if that's something you do not want, then this is not your choice. A high-waisted relaxed jean is going to be a better fit for you because it's going to emphasize your curves and your hips but it's not going to make them look more exaggerated. This being said, some of the best cuts for you would be a cigarette or straight cut, a flared cut, and definitely a high rise. All three of these are going to be your best friend when it comes to finding the most flattering jeans for you. And by no means that I, am I saying that you can't wear other styles like the skinny jean, I'm just saying that these three are going to be the most flattering. 
As with jeans, you want to avoid pants that are too tapered around the ankle because this is not going to balance out your silhouette. And instead you want to go for a relaxed or flared style and this is just going to be an overall better fit based on your proportions. Some really cute styles to try include culottes, boot cut, and palazzo pants and all three of these are really feminine, really elegant, and they're definitely going to make your curves look amazing. Moving on to skirts, something you want to avoid is really, really tight skirts. And instead, you want to try to go for a little bit more loose-fitting skirts like an A-line skirt. A selection of really awesome skirts are going to be an A-line, a pleated, and a bias skirt. And all of these are super feminine and very fun and flirty, but at the same time, they are going to complement your hips and your shoulder to hip ratio. So with shorts, we really just want to avoid anything that is going to be a low rise. And this is going to cut off half of your hips and it's just an overall unflattering style. Instead, you want to opt for shorts that have more of a relaxed fit and maybe something a little bit high-waisted with a tie around the waist. Some great styles to try include a relaxed fit, a high-waisted short, and a fitted short, something that has cuffs around the thigh area. Now moving on to dresses, since we know the best tops and shorts, naturally we need to know what dresses to choose. But the general rule you want to keep in mind is that you need to make sure you're adding a little bit of volume to the top half, especially if you have something that is very form-fitting around your hips. Now when it comes to dresses, you guys have so many great options, but one thing you need to steer clear from are dresses that are boxy and that do not show off your shape. Instead, you really need to try to stick to dresses that show your natural curves and that are going to be super flattering on your hips and on your waist. Some of the best styles in my opinion for the pear body shape include an A-line dress, a wrap dress, and a tulip dress. All three of these are super feminine, elegant, and flirty, and they are just going to be some of the most flattering options for you guys. Most of these dresses definitely add a little bit of volume to the bottom half, but they also add volume to the top half of the body and when you look for dresses this is a detail that is super important to remember okay we've reached the final part of the video where we're going to discuss the best jackets for you guys and these can be blazers jean jackets anything from being formal to being more casual this being said let's take a look at your best choice for jackets Lastly, talking about jackets, we want to make sure and avoid anything that is going to be single-breasted and things that don't have a lot of interest in detailing on the shoulder area. Instead, you want to go for jackets that tend to be a little bit longer and that have a little bit more detailing around the shoulders and upper half of the body. So with these guidelines in mind, some of the best choices for jackets are going to be a long blazer, a crop jacket, and a trapeze coat. And although all three of these are very different and you wear them on different occasions, I just wanted to give you guys a sense of what is going to best complement this sort of body shape and what is going to balance this silhouette. If you guys are interested in exploring and trying some new type of jackets, these are definitely some cuts that you want to try. So what were some of your favorite styles I mentioned in this video? Go ahead and put it in the comments below. I'm really curious to know if I chose any styles that are particularly, you know, appealing to you guys. If you like this video, make sure to go ahead and click that like button so that I know all this hard work helped you guys and reached, touched you in some sort of way. And while you're at it, don't forget to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I make videos weekly and basically I talk about fashion, image, and just kind of how to level up and fashion that is suited particularly to you. If you guys haven't already booked your image consultation, make sure to go ahead and do that at concept3img.com. As I've said before, I'm a certified image consultant, so I'm here to help you with all of your image needs and goals. So I'd love to work with you. So this being said, have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. And as always, stay safe, stay smart, and stay leveled up. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.